Today I shall teach complete beginners how to use Zoom. Hey, good morning guys. So today I'm not doing my regular running videos, but instead, in view of the COVID-19 situation at this moment, a lot of folks right, uh, are uh, might be struggling with the software Zoom. Yes, by now right, you should have heard of Zoom. Uh, which is the online video conferencing software used for work, used for conferencing, used for meetings, used for trainings. So uh, almost everyone, not just in Singapore, everyone in the world is using Zoom. So I hope to be able to do this particular video to help all beginners who are not really familiar with the software. Okay, so let's jump right in. Okay, so this is the Zoom website, zoom.us. So you all can go and visit and do it. Uh, for those that are not familiar with what Zoom is all about, you all can do a read up. It's for meeting, video webinar, conference rooms, phone system and even chat. A lot of people, uh, I would say not just lots of people, it's the number one most used video conferencing software in the world. And for good reason, it is very, very good, fast move and not really cluttered unlike the other softwares like Skype. Uh. So it's a video uh you can host up to 1,000 video participants and 10,000 viewers at any one time. Okay, so all these functions. <clears throat> so you can see even pre-COVID-19, a lot of people has been really using it for their online work really in the digital transformation. So for folks that doesn't really uh, know who I am, I was a former digital trainer. That is the reason why uh, I have been using Zoom uh, for quite some time already. So you can have a look at the website and have a read up. Okay, so first step, uh, most important step is of course to create a Zoom account. But you need to understand that uh, this is only necessary if you are hosting a meeting. But if you are joining a meeting, right, it's not necessary to have an account. So if you want to host a meeting, sign up. So for myself, already have an account with Zoom ready. You can sign up with Google or Facebook if you already have an account with all these platform, which I believe most of us should have. So once you already sign up, you will. This is the back end interface of Zoom. Okay. So I leave you all to play around. So today's uh today's video is more about complete beginners. I want to schedule meeting, who want to ho uh, host a meeting, who want to join a meeting as well. Okay, so it's very very simple. You can don't really bother about all this particular uh, side of things first. Okay, let's I leave you to explore. Let's go and uh, take a look on how to host a meeting. So when you hover around this particular part, host a meeting. There are three different options with video on, which once you press right and your Zoom software is ran, uh, it will automatically activate your webcam in your computer, or if you are using phone, of course, activate the phone camera. So video off, you can host a meeting even without showing your face. Okay, screen share, which means that you are sharing your screen without showing your face, sharing your computer screen, that is. So we do a video on, let's see what happened. Okay, so if you have not installed Zoom on your computer, it will prompt you to go and install Zoom. So the only way to host a meeting right, is you need to have the software, whether it's on your phone, whether it's on, on the computer. So yes, so for here, I just open my software. Okay, so it's connected to the Zoom uh, particular software. Need a, a bit of time. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, there you go. Hello. Hmm. So you'll be able to see my face at this point in time because the webcam is activated. Okay, so you are inside the particular Zoom meeting with zero participant. It's just me, myself at this point in time. Okay, so we will talk about the options from the left all the way to the right. Uh. First one, mute. If you mute this particular button, okay, which means right, a participant will be able to see your face, but not able to hear you. But if you want people to hear you, but do not see your face, you can press this. Okay, okay, this is the profile picture that I set. And if you haven't set any, you should just show a blank name. Lah. Okay, so if you do, want, do not want people to see your face, but want to hear you, you can click here. And this particular button is very obvious, is to invite people so you can invite by mail you can invite by copying cop copying the url this url right, is unique in a way whereby once you copy the url you send to any particular person right they will be able to click and join regardless of whether they have a zoom account or not. it's not necessary to have a zoom account to join so that's the wonderful thing about zoom 
So copy, copy invitation is actually much, much uh, more. You will be able to send a, an email which uh, give them an official invitation together with the meeting ID and the password as well. Later, I'll show you what is it about. So there's a meeting password. If your meeting uh, needs a password for, for people to join, right, they will need to enter this password before they are allowed in. This is for privacy issues. Okay, next part uh, particular site is, of course, to manage the participants. So now it's only me, but if you have a host, a host of participants, participants right you are uh, one very important function is you can mute them okay so if you have too many people and there are too many noises and you are not able to go and uh, do your video conferencing in a conducive manner you can mute all at one go okay so current and new participants will be muted yes so we want right? we, I, what I normally do is I will mute all on default everyone will be muted on entry so that uh, new and new participants will not uh, cause a distraction to the ongoing meeting okay so there are a lot of different options to uh, to go and play around okay you can unmute all all at one go as well so this is more of the managed participant view so the next part i'd like to share with you guys is the share screen so for the first left uh, option is of course to share your desktop. So once you click on this, uh, be careful er because everyone will be able to see what uh, your screen, your computer. So whether you're using Chrome, whether you're using WhatsApp, all this, right? Uh, there's a lot of privacy issues whereby people accidentally show all their messages, all their private things. So you must be careful when you press this desktop because whatever you are doing on, on, on your own computer will be uh, visible to everyone that is participating in this meeting. So another one thing I did use a lot is of course the whiteboard which is very interesting to convey what you are trying to convey and you can draw uh, whatever you want to write over here and people will be able to understand what you are trying to mean more easily this is very very good if you are doing a conferencing okay if you have a pen uh, with on your computer that will be excellent and easier for drawing okay sorry uh. so go back to the share screen there's also can share by iPhone so the other uh, advanced files, not so much. So today is the video for beginners. We don't really touch on the advanced stuff. Okay, so the next part, part is particular chat. Chat is useful whereby if you do not want your participant to uh, be voicing, to be talking. So everyone can just chit chat over here. Uh, any queries, any questions, or just mingle around. They all can talk here without causing a major distraction to the ongoing meeting Okay, on the chat bar. Okay, next, the one very useful function that I always, always use is the record function. Okay, so once you press this record button, you will be able to see this recording uh, in progress on the top left hand cor corner. So this particular recording, right, if you are using a free account that I'm using at the moment, uh, you, the recording will automatically be saved on your hard drive once your meeting has ended and you'll be able to access the recording. So this is useful if you want your participant to be able to re-watch that particular meeting yeah, on another day. Okay, so we'll stop the recording. Okay, and one, the next very cute thing is the reaction. Okay, so if you feel that uh, the host is doing a very good job, you can give them a very cute thumbs up or you can give them a virtual clap. Okay, this is very, very cute reaction. <laughs> Okay, so this is more or less all the basic functions of Zoom. The reason why Zoom is so popular it is because it is very simple, very straightforward, and non-cluttered, unlike the other software, which has a lot of bells and whistles. But when it comes to the basic functions, like uh, being able to deliver a very good experience of video conferencing, they are really seriously lacking. So that's the reason why Zoom is used by so many people in the world. So if uh, once the meeting has ended, you want to end meeting, okay, just click on the end meeting button and you'll be able to uh, leave and end the meeting for all. So next, I'd like to share with you guys on how to join a meeting. So if you receive an invitation by email, so you will be receiving something like this by default if the sender sends you an invitation. So whereby you can Zoom meeting, you can press on the link and if the particular uh, meeting needs requires an ID and a password, there you go, here it is. So the second method of joining a meeting Zoom uh, is to go to their regular website and you press join a meeting and you will be able to uh, type in the meeting ID and of course later it may prompt you for a password. So you can either join by the browser or you can just click here straight away. Okay, let us see. Yeah, 
this is the same thing they also prompt you to go and open zoom straight away okay, last but not least we'll take a look at the plans and pricing okay so for uh, everyone will be able to use a zoom account for free whereby you can host up to 100 participants and have unlimited one-to-one -one meetings and but the limit i uh, will take note uh, your meeting cannot last beyond 40 minutes if not uh, your meeting might be cut off so this is the particular free account and if you need advanced feature like for more uh, bigger company you have the pro plan you have the business plan and you have the enterprise plan depending on your needs all right so this is it so i hope by the end of this video you guys will be able to uh, use zoom successfully to go and host your meeting uh, work uh, remotely at home more easily and being able to understand how zoom is all about you can also even uh, host classes especially for coaches trainers and teachers you'll be able to host your training uh, on the platform as well so zoom is a very very awesome software if you are not really using it I suggest you start using it now. So thanks for watching. I hope this video helps and continue to stay safe.